Friedel Dicker Brandeis was 44 years old when she first saw the Jewish ghetto, Terezin. She was greeted by soldiers with guns, thousands of people lining the streets, and total confusion. There is a thirst for trying to understand this very difficult history, and I think that our world is difficult today, and people want to know how to make it a better place. As an artist, Friedel Dicker Brandeis had worked with children before. She knew Terezin would be a frightening place for them. So in her luggage, Friedel packed paint, brushes, paper, and books, not for herself, but for the children. Surrounded by the walls of Terezin, Friedel opened her suitcase and in secret, the children began to create. There are ways to find meaning by looking at art and listening to music. I think it's important as artists to bring that to others. It's not just the child in Terezin. The Terezin child also expresses the feelings of many children in this country now. Let people know, this is how I feel. This is what I want you to know about me. These Omaha students are just beginning to learn about the Holocaust. We really wanted to show that, that children were a big part of this story. What do you Along the way, they, they will meet Friedel students from Terezin. We can't teach about the Holocaust unless we give the kids some context. We had to think of a way to get them to connect. I mean, you know, they don't get it. And we chose the topic of freedom. How about, if my freedom were taken away? If my freedom were taken away, I would fight for the freedom. We couldn't follow our dreams. We couldn't listen to our iPod all day. If freedom were gone, every day would not want to be lived. If freedom were gone, every day would be lived without drive. If freedom were gone, every day would be lived without purpose. If my freedom was taken away, I would not care to go on. He represented much more than just that poem that he read. It's not easy. It's not easy, so thank you for sharing that. What has happened is their understanding that this topic and the ramifications of what happened in the Holocaust can be translated into their own personal experiences. Well, we wanna, I want to know how they felt when this was like happening. To further their lessons, these Omaha students were encouraged to draw, write, and form with their hands. They only put 35 girls in each room. 35 girls had to share a room. Whoa, one room. I could not live in a room with 35 girls. <laughs> I wrote that people were separated by age and gender. Mine's about when they, they had to be punished. And it made them feel weak and hopeless. The children of Terezin created over 5,000 drawings and collages. They wrote newspapers and poems. Their creations were hidden from their Nazi oppressors. At the end of the war, they were found, stuffed into walls and suitcases. It means that up until the very last moment, you don't give up hope of survival. These children knew that they were meant to die. But hope is a remarkable, remarkable human property of the mind. 